I have two names because I served as a male chief two times. So I'm known first as Nana Achilwakwe the second, the chief of all the warriors, the Akwapim Adantin Division. That is to be precise, Aburi Isachi and its environment. And I'm also the queen mother, that is, um, of Abu Isachi, the ancestral home of the Akwabus. Akwabus are ethnic groups in Ghana. And um, so I served two years. As Mount Chani said, I'm the Bermuda of that team, the division of Akwabu. I am Nana Achiamehene. Kwafumosa, the third, the Achanehene of Ebri, and the Adonting Division of Equipping State. Precisely with Otobu Jankosi being the Adontihene. And I continue now. The reason why we march from the palace to the gardens is a procession showing our culture and tradition marching to the Deba. Now, during the ancestors surviving from the early 17th centuries, there was our leader called Opontentin. He fought and died in the war, but we succeeded and also survived this, this place called Abri now. And in front of the gardens, that is where he was buried. So when we make the Deba, we, we have to pass there and pay our homage. We will see that most of the chiefs, when they reach there, they come down in their palaquin and they, they, they cover them with clothes. And they can even change their clothes after they pour libation there. And so we, we still respect and believe that those who pour their, 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 their blood down and fought for us must be remembered annually. Secondly, the Udra is meant for purification and pacification and unity among the kings, the queen mothers, and the families, and the whole world, and the enthusiastics, even white people. You saw them there. That is where the president of the country, the state elderly number one man, will come and tell us something small, like if he wishes to talk to Ghanaians, this time not on radio. That is where the majority in the in the eastern part of Ghana are guarded, including visitors from all over the world. So it's the greatest opportunity to, to do that deba so that it's part of our education to the whole of our community and the society and the whole Ghana and the whole world as at, at large. In our tradition, we always try to make sure that we establish something so that we, we, we pour libation there, we, we do everything connected with our ancestral spirits. So that is where we pour libation and pray a slaughter sheep to signify something such like crowning of a king or a queen swelling off or something where somebody curses somebody they bring the person death for me to pour libation and slaughter sheep for all the people over there to see that today is a different day signifying that this has done now the Akans or we the equipping three people or the blue people with the Akonus and the Diana by the family. In the ancient time there was nothing like reading and writing. But when we, we pour libation and, and a sweater sheet there, we should have somebody will pass and say, What has happened yesterday? When you see the blood, it's, the place is sometimes called Mujari. 
That means blood never dry there. It signifies some dates and what happened before there was a libation and a slaughter of something. Then the broken glasses also shows the time those things happen. Not all the time we break bottles. But that place, the, the bottles are protecting everybody from not stepping there. You understand? Because if you see broken bottles, we will go and stand in it. Nobody step there. Well, that is a special place where the authority of the king is, is established. Explaining of Mashiam or Topete. There is red, red, red one. That means it has been mixed with red oil. And then the white one. And then the X. The meaning is that. We don't eat yam at certain times of the year. And so when we, we start at the day, eh, the following day we make yam festival or the guru. This one this one is made from the shrine of Chiaberma. So after that, another Kwasu will go to Usachi and it, another one will be performed by the shrine of Dijafo. He is sometimes called Bemayao. Now, it's a it's also a fetish priest. Jumping, jumping in with some sword. You saw him. Uh -huh. He is the one who is also guiding the sister's tools. Now we have the fetish priest, mostly women and men, in white garments. You saw them too. Yeah. Now you saw the executioners called Abrafo. You saw some people painting their face with some black something there and, and they look very very dangerous with their knives in the ancient times these are the people who who go to war and also when when the chief is moving that is the soldiers guiding the chief and the whole town you understand me so when somebody do anything wrong they can cut your head that is the ancient time not now you understand now you saw some people with this linguist staffs. Every every chief has got a linguist. What is the duty of a linguist? A, a linguist must be a wise person who has to summarize the speech of the chief or the king. So that when he speaks to the people, everything will be understood, calm and lovely. But somebody also wants to speak to the chief. Maybe we don't know how to speak politely. We will speak through you. Then you will also summarize and, and speak politely to Nana or the king or the, the queen mother. So that everything will go just like a speaker of parliament. You understand me? So in the ancient time, they call it Otiano. Somebody who straightened up the speech of the king. But now, as times go on, it has become Otiano. Linguist in English is a linguist, but the linguist will come with the with the, with the linguistic staff of the chief or the queen mother. <coughs> this is the power of authority of the queen mother or the queen, the king. You understand me? You see this symbol. In Chi, you see You see that there is the is is the hen that hatches the chicken and take guard of the chicken from the hawk before they grow when they reach certain stage then we allow them to go and we start laying new egg and then cover it and hatch it so th this means that the queen mother is the is the, the biggest of all the, the the other small small queens and they are all under him it symbolizes that the king is the is the number one and he, he covers the little little chiefs and the, and the people of the country, the traditional area or the country. So we have different different linguistic staffs and the meaning. Now we have black black linguistic staff. It is called asempaitia. That one, every time they kill a sheep or perform any any right in the in the palace, they they will take it there and the the blood will, 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 will bath it. So it's black. We use it to go and announce death of any royal or if you are summoned to the palace of the of the of the chief our 
also when we are going to sprinkle the marshal, the red, white, and the eggs, that means we are going to give our ancestors food. We go with the black stool, but that one there's no red cloth in it. Staff. Mm -hmm. You understand? When we went to feed our our sister the, the, the river, river called Kobi. When our ancestors were hunters who came to look for water so that we can survive and build the town or the village, that was the river they, they, they discovered. Where is it, it is located in some other eastern part of the town. Kobi. Agree. Agree. So when I go there to give the, the priest of the water that Mama has sent me, or the criminals have sent me to bring annual Martian and, and water to the to the stream. We believe he is also a spirit or some so something that God created. A crap TV. The puzzle.